basic finger style lesson for you today. We're just going to go over some of the basics in the key of E. So once you've got the alternating thumb down, now you're looking at, okay, how do I add some extra licks? We're going to use your pinky. We're going to get our pinky a good workout on this lesson. Moving around, I'm going to show you the basic chords that'll work in the key of E and just a few little licks and tricks to get you started. All right, here's finger picking basics in the key of E. All right, let's start breaking down this beginner finger picking lesson in the key of E. So for this lesson, I'm going to assume that you can do the basic country blues alternating bass part that's very common in this style. And I have another lesson called alternating thumb basics that breaks that down in a lot of detail. So I'd check that lesson out first if you're having trouble with that. But this lesson is going to focus on basically our, our index and middle finger of our right hand so adding some more licks and alternate notes once we've got that basic part down okay so one really basic one you'll hear a lot is an open one hammer on on the third string something like that so i'm doing a pinch low sixth string and third string while i ham while i hammer on and then I'm going up and hitting the fourth string with my thumb, and then hitting the open first string. And then I'm doing bass in between. That's a very common one. And what I recommend is playing with the timing. So you can play on the beat, so when I'm pinching at the same time, and then I can play off the beat like I'm doing on the second lick. So see how I'm pinching at the same time, that's on the beat, and then I'm playing off the beat. So if you count it, it'd be one, two, and. We could also play the second lick on the beat. Or we could play the first one off the beat. That's trickier. So if you, if you think about playing on the beat, so basically your thumb is the beat and your, your other fingers are doing the picking. So your index and middle fingers are doing the picking. So you're either playing on the beat, which is where you're, you're playing at the same time as your thumb, or you're playing off the beat. So if you think about it in this way, then you can have basically two versions of each lick you know. So if you find a cool lick, now I can do again, uh, off the beat. So I'm hitting that open first string off the beat. Or I can do it on the beat. The key detail there is my thumb is staying exactly the same, whichever version I'm doing. And that's the, the foundation of this style is that, that alternating bass thumb part. That's really important. So what I would do is just try and keep your thumb going and see how many variations you can come up with on that lick. Just see what you come up with. You're basically trying to test your thumb to see if your thumb can keep that beat going while you do more advanced stuff with your index and middle fingers. Okay? So another thing I do when I'm learning it, this finger picking or finger style guitar in a new key is a big part of the style is called playing out of the chord position. So I'm keeping the chord down so I can keep my bass part going. Remember, in this style, you're basically the whole band. So stylistically it changes how you would approach the guitar where maybe if I was playing a lead you know and I had a whole band backing me up I don't need to stay in my chord shape because I have maybe another guitar player playing the chords or a bass player or drums in this style I'm the whole band so your licks and tricks are going to be closer to your chord shape just by nature in this in this country blues style so one thing I do and is very common, whichever key you're playing in in this style is kind of hunting around with your pinky. So your pinky is freed up. So let's play on the second string. So we can play open. We can add our pinky on the second fret. So you can do something like that same 
hammer on thing we were doing with our first finger, now you can do it with your, your pinky. And the only difference there I did with my right hand is I moved to the, the second string with my index finger. The other thing you can do is slide your pinky up to the third fret, so it'll be a big stretch. So you've got one sound, you've got two sounds, now you've got three sounds. So you can do something like that. See what you can come up with. You can do that same thing on the first string. Anytime I'm learning a new chord or playing in a new key in this style, I basically just start going and hunting around with my pinky and, and see what I can come up with. You'll know pretty quick if it sounds good or not. You can kind of use your use your ear and tell. But basically, you're kind of just you're going to be hunting around one or two frets with your pinky. It's very common in this style. So lastly, you could combine those licks. So you could start with a hammer on with your first finger. Now do a lick with your pinky. I'm just seeing what I can come up with. Again, like I said, basically I'm trying to just keep my thumb going and, and seeing what I can do with my other fingers and hopefully, hopefully my thumb doesn't get thrown off. And you can do the same thing if you don't want to do the alternating bass. You can also do it with the single bass, which is kind of an older, even older blues style. in older blues they'll do that where they're just hitting the one note you know and you can do stuff like and I'll break that down in a second but so know that any of these little licks will work whether you're doing the alternating bass or the straight single note bass which can sound cool so let me show you one other shape in this style and it's kind of if you imagine doing your D chord and then sliding that up two frets. So that's like a e, uh, three finger E chord, just like a partial E. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let our second finger take over on that third string fourth fret. And then I like using my third finger up on the fifth fret of the second string. And then sometimes you, you might just leave that top string open, but that's, that's kind of the shape you're working out of. So again, I'm just gonna do it like that. And then what's cool about that is then I can have my first finger freed up to play this third fret on the second string. So I can do stuff like. And that works better when you're using the single bass. You can do it with the alternating, but it doesn't sound quite as good because you're not, again, you're not playing out of a chord shape now, but one thing you can do to practice that is you slide up. And then you're back down to this position. So you can use your first finger. And then you slide up with your second finger. just getting the positions down you know don't worry too much about what you're doing with your thumb you're just trying to start getting familiar with using those shapes and then getting back down okay so that's a couple things you can do with just the key of E or just the chord of E rather so I'm not even changing chords yet you could pl practice playing all those licks so another chord that works really good with the key of E is A so you could do an A7 and then that frees up your pinky to now play the third fret on the high string and the second fret. Again, I'm hunting around with my pinky. So once I get it down. Just see what you can come up with. And then you can go back to E. that 
that's one way you can do the A. That one works good if you're going back to this E like that. Another way, kind of more of a Mississippi John Hurt style, is you'll slide your first finger from right here, and you'll go into this A bar chord, and then you're going to use your pinky way up on the fifth fret of the first string. That's a big stretch. You'll notice my thumb really drops down there. Because then I can use my, my second finger, and you get that sound, which is really cool. And that one's a big stretch, so that will take some practice and some strength, but that's another good one you can practice going into. Styles just played with your pinky. That's how you're getting all those extra sounds. So that's a couple licks you can do on an A chord. You can do just your first finger too. Actually, one more thing you can do is move your, your pinky down to, to the second string. And then like that. And lastly, we got B or B7. So the, the way to do that is you just flip your first and third finger and then put your pinky on the second fret of the highest string. And that one you can practice moving your second finger back and forth. And this one, yeah, you can, you can also practice moving your pinky around. And then back to E. So another B I'll use sometimes. That, I'll use B7 a lot. That one sounds good too. Doing that hammer on back into your E. That's a good lick to get back to your E chord, that, that first one we broke down. That one too, you can also do just a single bass. That kind of sound. So one more B I'll use is I'll use my first finger on the second fret of the fifth string, my third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, and my pinky on the fourth fret of the third string. Basically like a B power chord. And then, so that one works good. That one works good if you want to play like a lick. Something like that, you can go into your B. So that lick is, I just use my pinky up on the fourth fret of the first string, third finger, you're right here. Basically your pinky goes down and then your third finger goes down one string and then I'm just pinching those strings and then open with my hammer on. That's something to practice. So that B works good. One more chord that you can do in this key. It's not used as much in country blues, but in like gospel music, if you've heard some of that finger picking gospel, it sounds really good, is C sharp minor. So if your A minor chord up at the 4th fret with a bar chord. You can leave the top string off if you want. So that B works good because then you can just, if you're in this C sharp minor, you just slide that shape down and take off your 2nd finger. And then you're right there, so you can do. Something like that, like a... That might be like a gospel intro to a, a finger picking song, like... gives you a couple things to practice. Take any of these chords and mix them up. Don't always just go from E to A to E to B. So mix them up in a different order. Let's maybe go from E to B to E, A. You know, the more ways you can mix up those chords, the better. Throw in that C sharp minor. That's probably the last one I would throw in. I would get really comfortable doing E, A, and B first. All right, hopefully that gives you a couple ideas to get you started while doing some finger picking in the key of E. All right, good luck.